So, we are talking about the judgment seat of Christ here. The judgment seat of Christ is for believers. Once you appear at the judgment seat of Christ, your soul can never be lost. You are already saved. On the contrary, once you appear at the great white throne judgment, in other words, called the final judgment, your soul can never be saved. You are doomed for all eternity. All right? A good scripture to put here to play with these is the, what, the one that David wrote in Psalm chapter 1 when he says, For the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So in other words, the, the righteous can never be judged in the same judgment with the wicked. Alright? Um, there's also a scripture that declares, I believe, 1 Thessalonians 5. Let me see if my memory serves me right. 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, I believe, verse 9. It says, For God has not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ. All right? And I'm going to show you um, in other scriptures what is wrath. The wrath of God is the judgment of God. So when it says that it, it has not appointed us unto wrath, it's simply talking about the judgment. Are you with me? Yes, so, question here. What is this judgment about? Uh, this one. The, the judgment, uh, that judgment is about um, the, 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 the saints of God mm -hmm. and uh, the deeds whether, that they did throughout their life and whether it be good or not. Thank you. Somebody, somebody give the power a big hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Right and point. So this judgment is, in other words, called the judgment of our motive. Our motive. There are lots and lots of us, ministers, servants of the Lord, who have good works behind our name. What we did is good and was good. But the motive behind our good works was not good. Some of us um, did it for self-promotion. And at the end of the day, somebody said, Whoa, it was Pastor Harriet who did that. Right? And that's what you want to hear. Well, if that's what you want to hear, you get your payday already on earth. So when we appear at the judgment seat of Christ, for that you get in no pay, no stars on your crown. Huh? Yes. Because you took, rather than the stars on your crown, you took the pride and the glory from it. Um, first, first, first Corinthians chapter 3, 13 and 15. Read that, read that, and it answers what this judgment is about. First Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. Verse 13 to 15. Yes, first Corinthians. Every man's word shall be made manifest, for the day shall be declare it. The, the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it, it is. It is. 14. If any man's work abide with abide with he had built on thereupon, thereupon he shall receive a reward. That's if, clear. 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall 
suffer a loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. See that? So verse 13 is saying that uh, a man can lose his word there, but he himself shall be saved, yet so by fire. Right? If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer a loss. In verse 15, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So we are saying, that's why I'm saying that once we appear in this judgment, your soul cannot be lost again. Because you have made it into heaven. So, and what is the difference between somebody, or theoretically speaking, somebody that has stars on their crown from who does it? The difference is just like in the security force, you see men with stripe yeah. on their shoulder. Oh, they are more recognized. Yes, and, and, and you have men who just there 30 or 40 years. Might never um, come into that uh, any hack of trees, nineteen. But you know, his reward is not that great, oh. right? Yes. So, will there be any stars on my crown, right? <laughs> All the folks are going there. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> the. Judgment seat of Christ is taking place during the time of the rapture. All right? Let's see if we can cover the second part now. Marriage supper of the Lamb. The bride, he must present her without spot or wrinkle. The holiness church of God. Without holiness, without which no man shall see God. So, the marriage supper of the Lamb um, follows the judgment seat of Christ. So, first we must be judged uh, according to our works here on earth. Mm -hmm. And how many, how many souls you are witness to? You. Um, there was a song we used to do back in the time when I was coming to church. So, um, the, 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 if, I, if I could help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. I'm not such a good singer. <laughs> but then I was, then my living shall not be in vain. Shall not be in vain. So you have received your reward for that. Now we are invited to the great banquet of the Lord, where I believe now we sit and talk and have a good time together. What are we going to talk about? I believe. Somebody said we shall talk about how we overcome, you know, with our struggles, our trials, our tribulation. And somebody said, um, in the song, they said, I went to see, and he saw, he saw the Abraham, he saw, then I said, I want to see Jesus, for he is the one who died for me. I bow on my knees and cry. Holy. So it's somewhere about here you're going to do that. You are not going to do that up here. Because you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be judged for works on earth. Okay. All right, you wanted to say something, Mr. Um, I think I heard that um, they said when you go to heaven, you're not even going to know even, even your sister or your brother, even or your mother that goes here. Because we are not um, recognizing your place. Yes. No, I don't mind that. Huh? Okay. I don't buy into that. We, we must have some form of memory. We are coming from, from, from war out of a, a, such a, a terrible conflict, battled and torn down here on earth. And we're going to sit down now and tell uh, uh, Lord Jesus, I will really thank you. But, but the rich man in hell remember Lazarus. Uh -huh. The rich man in hell remember Lazarus. Why can't we at the table of our Lord? 
Remember, O oh Lord, I'm going to see you. This one you're going to remember. All right, Sonny. The, the, the judgment seat of Christ is what is known as the Bema. If you ever heard about the Bema, all right, um, seat before. And um, it was similar to what Jesus talked about in the, when he says, um, there was a that wedding day that was taking place, you know, and um, the, the, the bride, the, 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 he says that um, at midnight there was a cry, behold, the bridegroom cometh, and some of them fall asleep and all of that. That, that, that um, is called uh, the betrayal. Betrayal is when one is uh, exposed, we call it engaged, right? So right now we, you are engaged hmm, to get married. Right? And the idea is that you found a girl and I spot her out, I went and I sat with her parents and talked and so on. So, yeah. And back in the time before, before uh, my time and Bishop Warren's time, in the whole of the days, I'm sure that you spoke in your time, Sister Baxter, um, he, he, my father would have to carry me up to your father and I said, my son of an interest in your daughter. And now the, 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 the doctor's father looked at me, maybe know the history of me or whatever, and I said, oh yeah, yeah, I think that guy is suitable for my wife, my, my daughter, because he, he might know he was a good working man, maybe he has some skill or you come from a good background or whatever, right? So he, 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 you get engaged. But in, in the process of being engaged, if you hear of any form of, uh, you know, malicious activity of this um, engage to get married to a um, lady of yours, then you can return back to the house and say, um, I'm sorry, I no longer have any interest in her because of the, her behavior and so on. Right? So Jesus now is engaged to the church and, you know, that's collectively and then individually. Right? And so we have that responsibility upon us, each and every one of us, to live a life that is pleasing for him. So on this day now, he comes to take home his bride, right? To, to, to seek the judgment seat of Christ and then to the marriage supper of the Lamb, where, you know, <laughs> though we try to understand it from, a, from an early standpoint, is like, you know, the way we're going to take place now, right? And, 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 and um, in Ephesians 2, the Apostle Paul said that, you know, the church is presented to our heavenly Father as we don't spot our wrinkle, right? Which means that we have perfectly behaved ourselves and, you know, the Father is approved of us. All right, are you with me? The key passage... And the marriage supper of the Lamb, it says it in Revelation 19, verse 7 to 9. Somebody find that. He said, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen, is the righteousness of saints, and he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. All right, so this is what we are getting ready for now. We are getting ready to be caught up in the rapture, be taken away, um, giving rise to the Antichrist. And to sit the judgment seat of Christ, uh, then the marriage supper of the Lamb. All right. Any question? The thing to hide. You are following me, good now. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down, Bishop. Enjoy.